days, 40 nights. I danced with the devil in the pale moon like I was a monster, a beast before I saw the light, but I was fine with that. Everything was all right. What's good? What's good, people? Um, it's the day before New Year's Eve. I want to do a quick uh, update. 40 days, 40 nights vlog. You feel me? Vlog, vlog, whatever the, whatever the is called. Um, if you checked out my last one, it was titled White Couple Fights Halal Guys Over Salty Pretzels. You feel me? Um, it was a videotape of a melee uh, physical altercation that I came across. And me, myself, I want to break that down and let y'all know what I was dealing with today. Um, if you have watched that or you go back and watch White Couple Fights Halal Guys over salty pretzels. I don't know why I'm putting close quotation marks. Um, I want you guys to pay close attention. There's a, a issue that people should be aware of, not just racism in America, but there's a term called white fragility. In the scene, you see that the white guy starts extending an arm to make physical contact with the halal guys. They start pushing and pulling and the lady, the white, um, the lady from the white couple, she doesn't, she doesn't hesitate to get physical. So she reaches in there, she starts pushing and pulling. I think that the white couple might have been a little inebriated. Really? No quotation mark for that. I think they were no. literally inebriated. But um, what I want you to pay attention to is that after some pushing and pulling, the white lady, they separate. Nobody touch each other. The white lady grabs a pretzel from the husband. She shows it to the guy, to the halal guy. She puts that pretzel right up to his nose. The guy looks at the pretzel. Then she shoves it right in his face. That's pretty aggressive. So you see one time she grabs the guy's face like she almost like try to claws him. And then she mushes him with the pretzel. So that's two physical assaults that the white lady did to her loud guy. But then she separates. Nobody touches her for 20 to 40 seconds. And then she makes a mental decision to play the victim. And she starts screaming. You touched me. You hurt me. You hurt me. She didn't. The white guy, her husband, didn't need any conversation with her. Her. He immediately took her, Empire. took her sign, and went with that. You touched the woman. You touched the woman. The whole time they said they want the money back, but he kept saying the main issue was that he touched the woman. Oh my God! Now what I'll say in closing is that when the cops showed up, the first thing he said was, "This guy put his hands on my wife. He put his hands on my wife," and followed up by saying, "All we want is our money back." And we're done. The cops were not going to give the money back to stop to get in trouble, and it wasn't going to be the white people. You know I me? Mean? Um, so the bottom line is that the white couple's issue was pride. They just wanted their money back. They wanted to know that they were right. They made a purchase. They weren't happy with their purchase. They wanted a refund, and that wasn't part of the policy. And they said, forget that policy. We're getting physical on it. So I want you guys, when you're out there in the streets, watch out for white people playing aggressive and then flipping to the victim be careful with that and remember the term white fragility is not a racial term it's a psychological term where you know that you're not a victim but you want to act and pose as a victim okay so that's it for that uh today i'm headed back from ny right now on the 107 bus it goes right to my house um and today i was doing a campaign cards for cash you understand I pitch people saying, do you like hip hop? They say yes. I say, I want to be specific. Do you like hip hop that's not about sex and drugs, not about cracking strippers? They say yes. That's called direct marketing. You want to get your demographic and you want to you want to weed out people with the questions. Now, when they say that they do like hip hop that's not about cracking strippers, I, get a, yeah, I give a very brief pitch. I made it super brief. I say, my name is Dutch 40. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. In Newark, they call me four pop. That's two pop to the second power. That's more pop. I do revolution rap, no sex, no drugs, no curses. And I'm giving out my album called Mercy Killing in the Devil's Playground. My fan base is eight to 80 gangsters and grandmothers love my music. That's facts. And then I ask, how much can you give that will not ruin your day? That's it. They give one dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten. Somebody gave ten. Somebody gave five. A lot of people gave uh, three. I made a hundred dollars within like two to three hours with cards for cash. You understand? Nobody else is doing that right now. They have to see these still like some dinosaurs. But Dutch Forty is trying to be on the cutting edge of music 
and technology, you yourself can go on Spotify, Tidal, iTunes, YouTube, type in Mercy Killing and the Devil's Playground. The whole album plays like a playlist. If you type Mercy Killing and the Devil's Playground on YouTube, you get the videos too. Like I told my customers, if you search Dutch 40 on YouTube by itself, 35 plus videos, search Dutch 40 on SoundCloud for two more albums, you should already know. Revelation 322, Birth of the Rebel, Death of the Saint, and the Hand of God. I, oh, I do rebel rap, but hip hop itself, if it's real, is revolutionary. Art itself, if it's real, is revolutionary. Ask yourself in closing, does life reflect art or does art reflect life? It's a balance. But when you have corporations controlling the art, weeding out the nutrients, the knowledge, and the power, then all we're left with is the flavor, the money, and the sex. Tupac told y'all when if the dudes stay distracted, it's gonna be party and bullish. You feel me? So please do me a favor. Like I said on Mercy Killing, do not let your mind be idle or an idol or idolatry or I delicious or anything that rhymes with idol. No idols in the house of God. And what is the house of God? The body. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. So in closing. 40 days, 40 nights, it's the day before New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve Eve, you feel me? So stay safe, stay warm, because it's a cold world, and remember, every single day, what is it? War. <laughs> Love y'all. One.